As a company, we talk a lot about balance. When we do our long range resource planning, there's three things that we like to keep in mind. You know, the first one is reliability. We want to make sure that the lights stay on, not just some of the time, but all the time. We want to make sure that we're keeping rates low, and then we also want to make sure that we're, we're being good stewards of the environment. Here we have an energy production facility coexisting with a living landscape. Back in 2016, we filed our integrated resource plan with the Minnesota Public Utility Commission. Once we retired our Hoot Lake coal plant, it created a unique opportunity for us. The significance of this location and the economics of it that makes it just tremendous is the solar facility is able to reuse that interconnection, which essentially saved millions of dollars for the project cost. Minnesota also has a uh, requirement that all investor-owned utilities generate one and a half percent of their electric sales from solar. What we expect Hoot Lake Solar to generate is about twice what is for the requirement in order to provide the best benefit for our customers. The 49.9 megawatts is the size that uh, is the best fit for this location. At the point when it's built, it'll be the third largest in Minnesota. The total acreage is 450 acres. Hoot Lake Solar will produce uh, enough power annually to power 9,000 homes. There are 16 inverters throughout the entire site, um, eight on the north side of Maine and eight on the south side of Maine. They start off with putting piles in the ground and then end up building uh, the racking and eventually getting the wiring and the modules put on. With this being Ottertail's first large solar site, you know, we want to make sure that we, we're working around wetlands. We want to make sure that we're paying attention to the environment as we're making these decisions and what we're doing. We can have these obstacles presented to us, but they become learning opportunities and then eventually they become victories for us. So You can only call a project habitat friendly if the site adheres to a set of standards and you need to score a minimum of 70 um, in order to claim that habitat friendly solar standard. Where Hoot Lake Solar ended up in that score uh, was a score of 100. So we totally blew past the minimum score of 70 and exceeded the score of 85 which represents the gold standard for providing exceptional habitat. There's Minnesota pollinator friendly seed mix throughout the entire site, um, but with that we need to try to stay ahead of the weeds in order to let that seed mix actually come through. It's a site that has 34 native species of wildflower for pollinators, 33 delineated wetlands for migratory waterfall, and 12 species of native grasses and sedges for nesting birds. So we have an example of something that can be a win-win for our company and for our community, while at the same time enhancing the natural environment. We're in the, the middle of a huge transition in the energy industry altogether. Specifically for Ottertail, we've made great strides over the last 20 years looking at our renewable portfolio expanding. It's really neat to see coming from that popping up on a model and a computer to seeing these panels sitting here today. As we review what our resource plan and is our preferred plan going forward, uh, we do anticipate additional solar and wind resources as part of that. But Hoot Lake Solar being our first uh, step into that I think is, is a tremendous success. You know, success is not about looking inward at how something affects me, but it's it's looking outward about how did how how did what I do affect my community. You know, yes, we're generating kilowatts, but what is this doing for our rates to our customers? How did this project add value to our community? Looking back, I think it was a very successful successfully executed project. <laughs>